So this is our Motion Force 1 uh, full motion simulator, uh, which we use to train our drivers and other drivers that want to become customers of MR Driver Development. So the difference with this sim being full motion, it uh, gives you a seat of the pants feel for what the car would be doing, feeling the curbs going under the car and that sort of stuff, which you just can't get in a static sim. Basically, it's an opportunity for us to see what a driver's doing and what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, and uh, help them go quicker. Uh, we've had a pretty impressive uh, roll call sitting in this seat, which has been cool. So obviously, simulators have been a pretty big talking point in motorsport lately, but talking to most drivers, you'll probably find that it's been a pretty important tool for us for quite some time. Um, the sort of advantages that a simulator can give a driver is uh, learning a track prior to an event, so we don't get much practice time at a race weekend, so being able to get on a simulator and actually learn the track, learn the braking marks, the turning points, and all the visuals, to sort of get a muscle memory before you actually get on track in the real thing, so that's a big thing that I've used a simulator for in the past. The things you can benefit from is weeding out those bad habits that you have in your driving style. So for me, there's a few little bad habits, and being able to get on this particular simulator and have Andy or Lee watch over my shoulder and give me instant feedback, it can really quickly get rid of those bad habits and also mean that when I'm on my simulator by myself, I'm actually practicing the right thing. So having the data as well from people like Maddie Campbell and Jackson Evans, I can compare what I'm doing to what the best are doing and give me a really decent benchmark to benefit my own driving.